A popular front is a broad coalition of different political groupings, usually made up of leftists and centrists. Being very broad, they can sometimes include centrist and liberal or bourgeois forces as well as social democratic and communist groups. Popular fronts are larger in scope than united fronts. In addition to the general definition, the term popular front also has a specific meaning in the history of Europe and the United States during the 1930s, and in the history of communism and the Communist Party. During this time in France, the Front Populaire referred to the alliance of political parties aimed at resisting fascism. The term National Front, similar in name but describing a different form of ruling, using ostensibly non communist parties which were in fact controlled by and subservient to the Communist Party as part of a coalition was used in Central and Eastern Europe during the Cold War. Not all coalitions who use the term popular front meet the definition for popular fronts, and not all popular fronts use the term popular front in their name. The same applies to united fronts. Topic. The Comintern's Popular Front Policy 1934-39 In the weeks that followed Hitler's rise to power in February 1933 the German Communist Party KPD and the Communist International clung rigidly to their view that the Nazi triumph would be brief and that it would be a case of, after Hitler, our turn. But as the brutality of the Nazi government became clear and there was no sign of its collapse, communists began to sense that there was a need to radically alter their stance, especially as Hitler had made it clear he regarded the Soviet Union as an enemy state. Georgi Dimitrov, who had humiliated the Nazis with his defense against charges of involvement in the Reichstag fire, became General Secretary of the Comintern in 1934 and by 1935, at the International's Seventh Congress the process of total reorientation reached its apotheosis with the proclamation of a new policy, the People's Front Against Fascism and War. Under this policy communist parties were instructed to form broad alliances with all anti-fascist parties with the aim of both securing social advance at home and a military alliance with the USSR to isolate the fascist dictatorship. The popular fronts thus formed proved to be successful in forming the government in France, and Spain, and also China. It was not a political success elsewhere. There were attempts in the United Kingdom to found a popular front against the national government's appeasement of Nazi Germany, between the Labour Party, the Liberal Party, the Independent Labour Party, the Communist Party, and even rebellious elements of the Conservative Party under Winston Churchill, but they failed mainly due to opposition from within the Labour Party but incompatibility of liberal and socialist approaches also caused many liberals to be hostile. The popular front policy of the Comintern was introduced in 1934, succeeding its ultra-left third period, during which it condemned non-communist socialist parties as social fascist. The new policy was signaled in a Pravda article of May 1934, which commented favorably on socialist-communist collaboration. In June 1934, Léon Blum's Socialist Party signed a pact of united action with the French Communist Party, extended to the Radical Party in October. In May 1935, France and the Soviet Union signed a defensive alliance and in August 1935, the Seventh World Congress of the Comintern officially endorsed the Popular Front strategy. In the elections of May 1936, the Popular Front won a majority of parliamentary seats 378 deputies against 220, and Léon Blum formed a government. In Italy, the Comintern advised an alliance between the Italian Communist Party and the Italian Socialist Party, but this was rejected by the Socialists. Similarly, in the United States, the CPUSA sought a joint Socialist-Communist ticket with Norman Thomas's Socialist Party of America in the 1936 presidential election but the Socialists rejected this overture. The CPUSA also offered support to Franklin Roosevelt's New Deal in this period. The Popular Front period in the USA saw the CP taking a very patriotic and populist line, later called Browderism. The Popular Front has been summarized by historian Kermit McKenzie as 
an imaginative, flexible program of strategy and tactics, in which communists were permitted to exploit the symbols of patriotism, to assume the role of defenders of national independence, to attack fascism without demanding an end to capitalism as the only remedy, and, most important, to enter upon alliances with other parties, on the basis of fronts or on the basis of a government in which communists might participate. This Mackenzie asserted was a mere tactical expedient, with the broad goals of the communist movement for the overthrow of capitalism through revolution unchanged. The Popular Front period came to an end with the Molotov Ribbentrop Pact between Nazi Germany and USSR, at which point Comintern parties turned from a policy of anti fascism to one of advocating peace. Many Communist Party members quit the party in disgust at this compromise between Hitler and Stalin. But many communists in France and other countries refused to enlist in their country's forces in 1939 or 1940 because Stalin was not at war with Hitler. Topic. Critics and defenders of the Popular Front policy Leon Trotsky and his far-left supporters roundly criticized the Popular Front strategy. Trotsky believed that only united fronts could ultimately be progressive, and that popular fronts were useless because they included non-working class bourgeois forces such as liberals. Trotsky also argued that in popular fronts, working class demands are reduced to their bare minimum, and the ability of the working class to put forward its own independent set of politics is compromised. This view is now common to most Trotskyist groups. Left communist groups also oppose popular fronts, but they came to oppose united fronts as well. In a book written in 1977, the Eurocommunist leader Santiago Carrillo offered a positive assessment of the popular front. He argued that in Spain, despite excesses attributable to the passions of civil war, the period of coalition government in republican areas, contained in embryo the conception of an advance to socialism with democracy, with a multi-party system, parliament, and liberty for the opposition." Carrillo however criticized the Communist International for not taking the Popular Front strategy far enough, specifically for the fact that the French Communists were restricted to supporting Leon Blum's government from without, rather than becoming full coalition partners. Popular Front's governments in the Soviet bloc After World War II, most Central and Eastern European countries became de facto one-party states, but in theory they were ruled by coalitions between several different political parties who voluntarily chose to work together. By the time that the countries in what became the Soviet bloc came under undisguised communist rule, the non-communist parties had pushed out their more courageous members and had been taken over by fellow travelers willing to do the communists' bidding. As a result, the non-communist members of the front became subservient to the communists, and had to accept the communists' leading role as a condition of their continued existence. For example, East Germany was ruled by a national front. Of all anti-fascist parties and movements within Parliament Socialist Unity Party of Germany, Liberal Party, Farmers Party, Youth Movement, Trade Union Federation, etc. At legislative elections, voters were presented with a single list of candidates from all parties. In practice, however, only the Communist SED had any real power. The People's Republic of China's United Front is perhaps the best-known example of a communist-run popular front in modern times. It is nominally a coalition of the Communist Party of China and eight minor parties. In practice, however, the minor parties are completely subservient to the CPC, and their leaders are mostly hand-picked by the Communists. In Soviet republics In the republics of the Soviet Union, between around 1988 and 1992 by which time the USSR had dissolved and all were independent, the term, ''Popular Front'' had quite a different meaning. It referred to movements led by members of the liberal-minded intelligentsia usually themselves members of the local Communist Party, in some republics small and peripheral, in others broad-based and influential. Officially their aim was to defend perestroika against reactionary elements within the state bureaucracy, but over time they began to question the legitimacy of their republic's membership of the USSR. It was their initially cautious tone that gave them considerable freedom to organize and gain access to the mass media. In the Baltic republics, they soon became the dominant political force and gradually gained the initiative from the more radical dissident organizations established earlier, moving their republics towards greater autonomy and later independence. 
They also became the main challengers to Communist Party hegemony in Belarus, Moldova, Ukraine, Armenia and Azerbaijan. A popular front was established in Georgia but remained marginal compared to the dominant dissident-led groups, because the April 9 tragedy had radicalized society and it was unable to play the compromise role of similar movements. In the other republics, such organizations existed but never posed a meaningful threat to the incumbent party and economic elites. Topic. List of popular fronts Topic. Popular fronts in non-communist countries The French Front Populaire and the Spanish Fente Popular Popular fronts of the 1930s are the most important ones. Popular Front UK, an unofficial electoral alliance from 1936 to 39 between the Communist Party of Great Britain, supporters of the Labour Party UK, the Liberal Party UK, and the Independent Labour Party and anti-appeasers in the Conservative Party UK. Popular Front Chile, Fente Popular, an electoral and political left-wing coalition in Chile from 1937 to February 1941. Unidad Popular a coalition of left-wing, socialist and communist political parties in Chile that stood behind the successful candidacy of Salvador Allende for the 1970 Chilean presidential election. Front Populaire left-wing anti-fascist coalition in France in the 1930s. Also socialist and communist government from 1981 to 1984. Fente Popular Goa Fente Popular, also named Janta Agad, communist-founded party in the Portuguese colony in India. Popular Front of India founded 2006 Popular Democratic Front Italy Front Democratico Popolare, PCI Sci Coalition of Communists and Socialists for the 1948 Italian parliamentary election. Ivorian Popular Front Front Populaire Ivorian, FPI was founded in exile in 1982 by history professor Laurent Gagagbo during the one-party rule of President Félix Houphou at Boigny. Popular Front Mauritania Fente Popular Philippines National Front Indonesia, founded 1959 Popular Front Senegal Front Populaire, founded 1936, for electing delegates from French Senegal to the French National Assembly. Fente Popular Electoral Coalition formed in Spain in 1936 before the Spanish Civil War. Popular Front Tunisia Front Populaire pour la Realisation des Objectifs de la Revolution, formed in Tunis in October 2012 as part of the Arab Spring. Popular Front for the Liberation of Bahrain Popular Front for the Liberation of Oman Popular Front of Finland Multiple governments were formed in the country after the Communist Party of Finland was legalized in 1944. Popular Front governments stood usually as a coalition of the Social Democratic Party which was though under strong anti-communist leadership until 1963 and the strong left orientation of the party from the late 1960s to late 1980s, the Centre Party, the Finnish People's Democratic League cover organisation of communists and left-wing socialists, and often also with minor liberal parties like the Swedish People's Party and the Liberal People's Party, and led from 1944 to 1946 by centre-right-wing Prime Minister Juho Kusti Pazakivi. Popular Front. Governments stood despite continuous electoral losses in 1944-1946 and during the Social Democratic Leftist period in 1966-70, 1970-71, 1975-76 and 1977-82. The main argument for this government's was good relationships with the Soviet Union, and the center-right National Coalition Party was kept in opposition from 1966 to 1987, despite its continuous approach to the left in the 1970s and the 1980s. Popular Front for the Liberation of Palestine – General Command Broad Front Uruguay. Topic. Popular Fronts in Post-Soviet Countries These are non-socialist parties unless indicated otherwise. The following were part of Glasnost and Perestroika during the 1980s, these were established after the collapse of the USSR in 1991. All-Russia People's Front Absarysiski Narodnij Front, created in 2011 by then Prime Minister Vladimir Putin in order to provide United Russia with new ideas, new suggestions and new faces. 
This front is intended to be a coalition between the ruling party and numerous non-united Russia non-governmental organizations. Topic: <laughs> List of national fronts. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> National fronts in current communist countries. People's Republic of China, the United Front and Chinese People's Political Consultative Conference led by the Communist Party of China Republic of Cuba, the Committees for the Defense of the Revolution led by Communist Party of Cuba Socialist Republic of Vietnam, the Vietnamese Fatherland Front led by the Communist Party of Vietnam succeeded the North Vietnamese Fatherland Front of 1955-77 Lao People's Democratic Republic, the Lao Front for National Construction led by the Lao People's Revolutionary Party Democratic People's Republic of Korea, the Democratic Front for the Reunification of the Fatherland led by the Workers' Party of Korea succeeded the United Democratic National Front of 1946-49. <laughs> National fronts in former communist countries People's Socialist Republic of Albania, the Democratic Front led by the Albanian Party of Labour succeeded the National Liberation Front of 1942-45 Democratic Republic of Afghanistan, the National Front led by the People's Democratic Party of Afghanistan People's Republic of Bulgaria, the Fatherland Front led by the Bulgarian Communist Party People's Republic of the Congo, the Défense Civile and then United Democratic Forces led by the Congolese Party of Labour Czechoslovak Socialist Republic, the National Front led by the Communist Party of Czechoslovakia German Democratic Republic, the Democratic Bloc and then the National Front led by the Socialist Unity Party of Germany People's Revolutionary Government Grenada, the People's Alliance led by the New Jewel Movement People's Republic of Hungary, the National Independence Front led by the Hungarian Communist Party, replaced in 1949 by the Independent People's Front led by the Hungarian Working People's Party, then replaced by the Patriotic People's Front in 1954, which after 1956 was led by the Hungarian Socialist Workers' Party. Democratic Kampuchea, the National United Front of Kampuchea led by the Communist Party of Kampuchea, replaced by the Patriotic and Democratic Front of the Great National Union of Kampuchea. People's Republic of Kampuchea, the Kampuchean United Front for National Salvation led by the Kampuchean People's Revolutionary Party renamed Kampuchean United Front for National Construction and Defense in 1981. Democratic Republic of Madagascar, the National Front for the Defense of the Revolution led by Association for the Rebirth of Madagascar People's Republic of Poland, the Democratic Bloc led by the Polish United Workers' Party, replaced by the Front of National Unity in 1952 and subsequently by the Patriotic Movement for National Rebirth in 1983 People's Democratic Republic of Yemen, the National Liberation Front and National Democratic Front led by the Yemeni Socialist Party Socialist Republic of Romania, the National Democratic Front, renamed People's Democratic Front led by the Romanian Communist Party, replaced in 1968 by the Socialist Unity Front, later renamed the Socialist Democracy and Unity Front SFR Yugoslavia, the National Front of Yugoslavia led by the Communist Party of Yugoslavia, replaced by the Socialist Alliance of Working People of Yugoslavia in 1945 Topic. See also National Front Third Period United Front Topic. Footnotes Topic. Further reading Graham, Helen, and Paul Preston, eds. The Popular Front in Europe 1989. Haslam, Jonathan. The Comintern and the Origins of the Popular Front 1934–1935. Historical Journal 22 No. 3 673–691. Horn, Gerd Rayner. European Socialists Respond to Fascism, Ideology, Activism and Contingency in the 1930s, Oxford University Press, 1997. Mates, Lewis. 
The United Front and the Popular Front in the Northeast of England, 1936 to 1939. PhD dissertation, 2002. Priestland, David. The Red Flag: A History of Communism, 2010, pp. 182 to 233. Viles, Christopher. Haunted by Hitler, Liberals, the Left, and the Fight Against Fascism in the United States, U of Massachusetts Press, 2014.